from the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps. Video games are getting people to be curious about history, and I wanted to provide a way of them thinking critically about what they're actually doing. So we look at how games allow you to explore what might have happened in history rather than what did. But also we look at whether the uh, game limits the ability to present certain aspects of history, but also sometimes empowers, because games can do things differently from books or movies. For one thing, you take part in them. There's a lot in video games that is accurate and gets people uh, interested in, in history. But on the other hand, before they assume that something was in, in, that was in a video game is the way things were, they need to maybe read up about it. No game can portray the past in, in full. They also have to cut certain corners, otherwise they'd be unplayable. Taking all that into account then, I'm particularly concerned about whether they deal with the broad themes and the underlying issues of the past in a way that is faithful to what historians would say was going on. So this is from Call of Duty World War II. I'm less concerned, for instance, about whether they get all the equipment exactly right in Call of Duty. But I am maybe more concerned about whether you're fighting through an urban area and there's no civilians, because that hardly ever happens. You have to take account of civilians. In terms of, of paying real close attention to the past and and an ongoing concern about it, I, I would hold up two series. One is a series of strategy games, Hearts of Iron, Crusader Kings, Europa Universalis. They are very detailed. I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty. <laughs> I think Call of Duty grossly oversimplifies it. I feel like the hist history is just a black drop for, for first-person shooting. In terms of giving you a feel for the architecture and what the world was like around you, I, I, I do like Assassin's Creed, even though it has clearly fantastic elements in it. There's other series that I think do a, a fairly good job, but they all have their limitations. So I was reviewing another textbook proposal for uh, a publisher. And they asked if I had any textbooks that I thought needed to be written. And I said, well, I'm teaching this video games course, and I don't have a textbook for it. And I don't know of anyone out there. And they said, well, would you like to write it? So I did. <laughs>